what's up guys see boys pilot 2k7 and we are back for brand new grand Auto 5 paramedic episode today we're gonna be playing as an emt with the pillbox hill medical center using this brand new ford ambulance by candace and this thing looks awesome guys so let's go ahead and take a quick look at it before we start our shift do a nice walk around on it and uh yeah she did a really good job on this it comes with a couple of different liveries as well so i will show you guys the different liveries and i'll open up all the doors so you guys can see how it looks inside as well as take out the stretcher for you as well but yeah guys let's go ahead and get this episode started so i'm gonna go ahead and hop in Also, we do have our partner. She is back. We always use her for our paramedic episodes, and we may even let her drive today, too. You guys always love when she drives because it, it gets out of hand letting the AI drive. Anyway, let's go ahead and start opening up these doors so you guys can take a look at the ambulance. All right, so you have your front doors, obviously. You have your back doors. Those open up. I like how it says stop there, too. Those are very useful as well. You have this one here. The hood opens up this rear door. And the trunk opens up this one right here. So this is the extended cab, which is pretty cool. We do have that extra space in case we have to carry some extra uh, personnel for whatever reason. And then if we go to our uh, component or extras right here. Uh, let me just look on the list. Extra 8. Actually, no, let's do 10 first. So extra 10. Put the stretcher right there. Actually, no. I think that's the only one that does anything. Actually, the rest are all lights, I believe. Let me just double check. Yep. Okay. Okay, so yeah, extra 10 puts the... Oh, I see it is. I'm kind of slow. I was reading the readme file, too, but I didn't see it at first. So extra 8 puts the stretcher inside and if you want to take the stretcher out delete eight and then put in ten so let's go ahead and take a look at the stretcher we also have our medical bag and some equipment right here so this is going to definitely be useful as we're responding to calls then we have the interior and then there's also a seat back here too so this is going to come in handy in multiplayer as well and we also have this uh ambulance on the cuff server so you guys are going to be seeing this in future uh, GTA 5 roleplay videos. So let me, what else we got to show you guys? Oh, yeah, I'm going to show you guys the other skins it comes with as well. So you have San Andreas Medical Service. Let me just close all the doors. Okay. So San Andreas Medical Service, Blaine Fire. This is actually a reminds me of Medic Pack 2 that had that skin. Uh, we have the Pillbox Hill, which is what we're going to be using today. There's also a Central Los Santos Medical Center. We could maybe use this one uh, for the other hospital just north of here. We have Los Santos Fire Department, uh, Mobu. Can't see what this one says. Mobu Neonatical. Not sure if I said that one correctly. Uh, then we have this one with a nice breast cancer survivor skin. Uh, another Los Santos Fire Department. Linux Hill. This is another one that you'll see in New York City too. It's one of the FDNY EMS participating members, which is pretty cool. And that's it. There's also an FDNY skin that comes with it as well, but I don't currently have it installed. So anyway, let's go ahead and get our shift started, guys. So we're going to press really? Control N. That's going to bring up agency callouts, and we're going to go to paramedic. And now we are going to be receiving EMS calls. She just told me to shut up. <laughs> oh, yeah, we got to change this back. There we go. So now we are ready. Pillbox Hill Medical Center Ambulance is ready to roll. Let's see what we get today, guys. And we'll take a look at the interior as well. Fasten seatbelts, no smoking. Don't want that oxygen in here to fuel the fire. But yeah, everything looks good, so let's see what dispatch has for us. Oh yeah, there's also a couple other things too. There's um let me see. Yeah, you also get these scene lighting too. 
So we have 360 degrees scene lighting. Almost forgot to show you guys that. Uh oh. Alright, first call a civilian shot. Let's go ahead and respond to that. Let's turn off the scene lights. We also have cruise lights as well. Alright, let's get going. It's going to be less than a mile away. Police are also responding as well. If you guys do enjoy this episode, you want to see some more EMS action, definitely let me know by smashing that like button, leaving some comments down below, and subscribing if you are new to the channel. Oh, here we go. All right, looks like the police are already on scene. Yep, PD's on, wait, where's PD? No, if PD's still in their car, they're basically on scene. Oh, yeah, I thought the person was right here. They're a little bit further inside. Okay, here's the person right here. Uh, police, are you guys gonna come help me? I'm going to just open up our doors here. Alright, and then let's also put the stretcher outside. Alright. It seems like the uh, ammo, I mean, the uh, police officers got stuck out there, but hopefully we'll be okay. Hopefully the shooter's not here. Are you okay, sir? Okay, let me try to get you to the stretcher, alright? Let's try to treat him. It looks like he has gunshot wounds to his abdomen. Alright, let's try to stop the bleeding. Alright. Oh, that gunshot wound is not looking good. Alright, so what we're going to do, uh, let's take him to the hospital ourselves. So we'll press T. Lead him towards the ambulance. Press T again and he should get in. All right, perfect. So he got inside. Let's close up all these night. doors. Like, wow, you're actually cute as kitty. Kind of surprised. All right, so we have that back inside, and let's close the doors and let's transport him to the station or to the hospital. It looks like we're actually taking him to a different hospital though. I wanted to try to stay at Pillbox today, but I don't think there's a way I could take him back over here but it's okay definitely want to try to get him help as soon as possible so definitely want to get him to the nearest trauma center you know what let's let the time cycle as well that way we'll get to see the ambulance at night Sadly, it is like this in real life. Like, people just do not respect ambulances and paramedics. It is sad. Like, they just didn't. Like, they will move out the way for a police car, obviously. But, like, when it comes to an ambulance, they, like, take their time. Or they just don't know what to do for whatever reason. So we're arriving at Mount Zona. Let's get this guy out. Like 
Right, it's gonna be this guy over here is gonna take them. Sure would be nice to take some aggression out on someone. <laughs> My partner is ready to beat somebody up. Yeah. Alright, so we're gonna get this guy out of the ambulance here. Probably should have opened the door, but it's okay. Alright, he's out. And we're gonna go ahead and take him inside. And I also wanna give a shout out to all the real life people that work in the emergency service field so like any paramedics any EMTs you guys have an extremely difficult job and sadly a lot of times you guys are like underpaid compared to like firefighters and police officers which is crazy they really should um, up up you guys pay because you guys do dangerous jobs as well and it is definitely not easy it's stressful and they should definitely compensate you guys a little bit more but um, yeah, that's a whole nother subject there. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to get back towards pillbox. So we're not gonna take this call here. I'm gonna try to get back towards pillbox. That way we could try to just stay at that uh, hospital. All right guys, we're getting our second call here. Looks like a police officer just got injured. Let's go ahead and respond to that. Like we have this officer here in this Impala. I'm gonna call for another unit here to come out because I'm not really sure what happened to this guy, so definitely want to make sure he's okay. Want to also make sure that we don't get attacked just in case somebody attacked this officer. We don't want to get attacked as well, so we'll get another police unit out here. So we have backup on scene. All right. He, oh, he got shot, guys. All right, he got gun trouble, no abdominal pain, mild bruise, and a broken ankle. Okay. So let's try to treat him. We're gonna give him some medication. Not really medication, I should say. We're just gonna patch him up a little bit. So we're patching him up. Okay. He should be okay. Let's transport him to the hospital now. Right this way, sir. Okay, it looks like he's inside. Perfect. And yes, we're going back to pillbox. Perfect. All right, let's roll. All right, so I think I'm gonna let my partner drive for the next call because I know you guys do like to see her drive. So. Next call will be in the passenger seat and she'll be driving.
right, so we're here at the Pillbox Hill Medical Center. Let's get this person inside. Let's get officer inside. There we go. I think um I think it's traffic police that locks the door sometime when I walk away. Alright, so hopefully that officer is, is gonna be okay. Let's get some prayers for the officer in chat. And uh yeah, let's set our partner to drive. Right, I'm not gonna take that call just because it's probably gonna make us go to the other hospital and I really wanna try to stay at pillbox today if possible. All right, partner, you're up for the next one, okay? So I said her to the driver. All right, you got the next call, all right? You ready? All right, I guess she's ready to go. All right, so let's just uh, hang out, take a quick break, and we'll see what happens next. Damn, we're getting the same call, but we'll respond to it. So I got a report of a civilian shot in Mirror Park. Uh, this time my partner... Sh Wait, did I set her to drive? I forgot. No, I didn't. I gotta set her to drive. So let's open up our police partner menu. Set her to be the driver. And should put me over there now. Alright, so she's going to drive. We have to go right... Here. All right, so she's driving. Oh, here we go. <laughs> here we go. All right, so I'm going to control the sirens and she's doing the driving. Let's see how we do here, guys. So far, so good. Oh, <laughs> she got this, she got this. Ouch, ouch. Oh no, oh lord. Wow. What the heck, I think we're in road rage. <laughs> Was he hitting us back right there? I don't know, it's crazy. Oh, I hear shots. I hear shots. Partner, I hear shots. We're going to have to call for police backup once we get there. Go, 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 go. We got to call for help. Oh, my goodness. Why is she stopping at a red light? All right. I'm going to take over. I'm going to take over. Uh, Make her the passenger. I need to get over there so I can call backup. I heard more shots fired. I don't know if the police officer is on scene. I gotta update my um, GTA 5 so that I have brighter lights. I do apologize about that. But let's get going. I don't want to get too close, but we do have to get close enough so that we could call for backup. Just in case that officer is down over there. Is he up? Let's get a... All right, so I call for some SWAT. Oh, I think that's the shooter right there. Can I report the shooter? Oh my God, he's still, he's right there. Oh shoot. We're about to get a first hand view of what's about to happen. Police are on scene now. Wait, where did he go? Where did he go? Oh, there he goes. Oh, he's shooting. SWAT team's here, riot truck's here. Unmarks are here. All right, they hopped out. I think they're down. All right, I think it's safe for us to move in. That was crazy. All right, let me help the officer out. Shooter seems like it's down. We have mad units here. Everybody came in for their shots fired. All right, let me see if I get this officer up. I have to 
try to CPR on him. It looks like he's not breathing, actually. That was crazy. We heard the gunfire from a couple blocks away there. Okay, I think I got him up. Alright. We're gonna have to get him into the ambulance. Move it before I shoot at you. You know what? I'm gonna need another ambulance for that other guy. Okay, you okay, bro? Alright, I'm gonna get you. Uh, uh, I don't know why they always run. Get back here. I gotta help you. Wait, dang it. I don't have that other script, so I can't even. Alright, it's okay. Wait, is there another person down, too? Oh my god, this was the original patient, actually. Okay, so. That's why I couldn't take him. This is our original patient. So this is the guy that got shot. The police came. The shooter shot at the police. So the police officer got shot. And then now we have the shooter over there that's also shot. So this is just compl This is crazy right now. You know what? We need some scene lighting, actually. I should have brought the ambulance over here. All right. Um, right. Let's get another ambulance out here to come pick him up. Okay, another ambulance is coming for this guy. Alright, so we're going to transfer him over to them. And now we're just going to grab the last guy. Let me work on the shooter now. Shooter's over here. All of those cars just smashed into my ambulance. take care of this last person here this looks really good with the scene lighting and everything got the lights I don't know why the door keeps closing we got the lights got the bag out okay so I got CPR in progress for this guy Why is everybody getting shot today? Alright, we got him up. Can I transport him? It's not giving me any options here. Oh, you know why? Because he wasn't the original patient, that's why. Alright, so, uh... Yeah, I wish I could call it another ambulance for him, but we're just gonna roleplay that we did. Let's go ahead and get out of here. Alright, let's uh, head inside and get a snack from the store here. It's been a pretty long day. 
Go anything, partner? <sighs> gotta be kidding me. Alright, never mind. We got a call. Person hit by a vehicle right around the corner from us. Looks like police are also responding to the scene. Wait, was that a police vehicle that was involved? Oh no, it was this red vehicle, it looks like. Alright, let's uh... Actually, I'm put on my scene light in so we can see a little better here. Oh, the patient's right here, too. I didn't even see them. Alright, so I got my lights on. Let's get the door open. I wonder if I leave my no bit still closes. Alright, so let's try to treat this person right here. <laughs> These other officers are like, this is not my call. I was not dispatched. I'm just gonna stay. Alright, so looks like he got some burns on him somehow. I'm sorry guys, I'm gonna get him out of here as soon as I can. Oh, he was riding the bicycle and he got hit on the bicycle, looks like. Alright, we got... Okay, let's get him into the ambulance. Alright, perfect. Let's pack everything back up. Alright, back to pillbox. I love that light right there. Alright, so let's get this last person transported. Alright, so we are now done with our shift, guys. It just went unavailable. We're going to go ahead and park up the ambulance. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this episode. Like I said, if you guys want to see some more EMS action, definitely let me know by smashing that like button, leaving some comments down below. If you're new around here, make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications because we have new videos dropping every single day as well as live streams. So make sure you guys look out for those as well. Again, huge shout outs to Candace for releasing this awesome ambulance. I will be using this again in the future. And like I said, we also have it on the uh, Cuffs 5M server. So you guys will probably see it in some of our multiplayer role play videos as well. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Really do hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace!